Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Goalkeeper Sessions. In this week's training video, I take you along to one of my recent sessions where I focused on a wide variety of goalkeeper drills, but most specifically looking at attacking the ball on a positive angle, a little bit of resistance training with an elastic band, and first touch and long passing. I'll be doing a small commentary over the top of the training video, explaining some parts to you, what I was focusing on, and things that I found, and hopefully that'll bring you a little bit of value. But enjoy the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think. So after the normal warm-up I get into the session and in this drill I'm warming up each individual area of my goalkeeping. A medium range pass, footwork, balance and stability, handling and then finally taking a high ball. This drill's good for warming up each area of my goalkeeping as I have to focus on each individual part of the drill. Rather than just doing volleys or one exercise, it combines different areas for me to think about so that I can, as in a game, understand and work on each individual area of my goalkeeping as I'm expected to do so. One area to notice with this is that with the passing, I'm using both of my feet. I always talk about symmetrical distribution, and when I have to do passes in my drills, I try and make sure I use my right and left foot in equal amounts. The next drill here, I'm looking at attacking the ball on a positive angle. My feet are set in the hoops, so that my left foot is slightly in front of my right. I'm then working on an explosive step forward into the low save, so that I attack the ball on the angle and I'm trying to hold as much as possible. If I can't hold, the positive angle will help me to push it into a good area. I then move on to medium height takes. And here I was a little bit frustrated because my handling wasn't quite where I want it to be. I want to be holding pretty much every shot in order to take myself up to the next level. We do the exact same then on the other side, having my feet ready and exploding forward into a positive angle on my dive. All the time looking to hold the ball as much as possible, both with the low saves and the medium height saves. Next drill is a continuous drill where again I'm asked to do different areas of goalkeeping. So here I'm returning the ball to the server first time as if it was in a game where I would have to return a pass, a back pass and make sure I'm finding my centre midfielder's feet. Then on the command of the server I will either have to take a volley or jump over the cones and take a pick up service. This drill means that I have to focus on different areas and be ready to react to the shout of the server. One thing that's key is this is a difficult drill in terms of concentration because you're always moving. You're always being asked to do something and you need to make sure that you're executing everything as, as well as you possibly can and that the quality maintains regardless of your tiredness. So your first touch, your pass, your handling, your footwork, all of it has to be in tune regardless of how tired you might get throughout the drill. This drill we're starting to incorporate the resistance training with the elastic band. So I'm coming out to where the band is tight and it's pulling me backwards and I have to maintain my shape and my body position to take the two volleys and then the two high balls. 
A little bit of a strength element to this drill, making sure that my technique's good, even, even whilst the band is pulling back on me and making it difficult for me to execute as I normally would. Similar to the previous drill, I want to maintain my quality regardless of my tiredness or regardless of the resistance from the band. Here we're working similarly as we were before on attacking the ball on an angle but also incorporating the resistance band. So I set off to take the low shot on a positive angle, return the ball to the server, reset and get back out for a volley. Similar elements, making sure I'm maintaining my quality even under the duress of the band. I'm making sure that my technique's good in attacking the ball, both on the low saves and the medium height saves. Here again, I was getting a little bit frustrated with my handling, maybe due to myself getting a bit tired, that I wasn't holding as much as I know I could do. But that's the next level of goalkeeping for me to make sure that I handle everything perfectly in these situations. We then take the drill to the other side and work on the other side. One element with this drill that has also worked is the core, both whilst you're on your feet and also when you're returning the ball to the server. Because of the elastic band pulling back on you, you need to make sure that your core strength is there and strong enough to give you the ability to execute the technique correctly, regardless of the duress of the band. Moving into the final drill of the session, which is a first touch and long pass drill. Here I'm setting behind the cones, taking my first touch from the server and clipping to a target on the wall. What I have to focus on here is making sure that my touch takes me away from the cones as if I was under pressure from the striker and it sets me ready to play that mid-range pass. Take my movement towards the reserver to receive the ball and then take my touch away from the pressure and then play the pass. As with everything, I want to do that with both feet. So here I'm replicating the drill, but playing the pass with my left foot as if I was receiving from the right hand side of my box. One thing to notice is the variety of which foot you take the first touch with. There are different options, whether you use your back foot or your front foot, and depending on the pressure, you might want to use one or the other. But make sure the first touch is good. That's key for this drill. If you mess up the first touch, it doesn't matter how good the pass is, because you might lose the ball to the pressure of the striker. Get the first touch spot on, and then focus on delivering the pass. Yeah. 